what we'll do next, we'll animate the intensity of one of the lights changing to make the scene look a little bit more interesting. So before we do that, we're just going to move out of the shot cam view so that we don't accidentally change anything and because we can still see the lights in the main perspective view. And I'm going to select the spotlight that lives in the projector. If you're struggling to select it for any reason, if you hit 4, you should be able to see it a little bit easier. And then you can just click on it. Right. So once you've got that selected, we need to go to frame 1. And we need to find the intensity of the light. To get to that, we're going to move from the channel box. And we're going to go to the attribute editor. And this lists all the attributes for the lights. And we're going to go to the tab that is Spotlight Shape 1, or whatever it's called for you. And you can see I've got my colour and everything. And there is the intensity. And this is the thing that we're going to keyframe changing over time. So the first thing I'll do is make sure I'm on frame 1. Now, if I just pressed S to set this intensity, it wouldn't work. Because when you press S, it's setting keys on um, position, size, and rotation. To set keys on attributes, you need to right click on them. So on intensity, on the actual word itself, I'm going to click with my right mouse button and hold, and I'm going to set a key. And there you go, that goes red, and there's my little red tick telling me that it's worked. I'll then move to frame 15. I'll set the intensity to 1.5, so just to make it a bit brighter, and then I will key that as well. And that once we render it later, will just be a really subtle change of the light going up. And then what we'll do in a minute is we'll use the graph editor to bring it back down and loop that going up and down over time. So to get the intensity of the light moving up and down constantly, we need the graph editor, of course. So let's get that open. Here's a spotlight. Now, by default, if you open your graph editor and press A, it might not show you the curve. And that's because it's on an attribute. So you can see I've got my spotlight selected. So if I just expand that, I can see there that the intensity is in the graph editor, but it's not yet selected to show me anything. So I'll click on that. And then when I go in here and press A, it will frame up that curve for me. And this is the intensity going up. So let's select that. Now this time, I don't want to change the tangents because I quite like that it's easing in and easing out. So I'll leave that alone. What I want to change is the uh, post infinity. So let's click on Curves Post Infinity. Now this time, I want it to go back down and then back up and back down. And the right Post Infinity for that is Oscillate. So the way I remember that is like a, a pendulum in a clock oscillates back and forth. And that's what I want this to do. I want it to go back and forth between 1 and 1 1.5. So I'll give that a click. And if I just zoom out, you can see that that's giving me exactly the effect I want. Up and down forever. And that'll give a really nice look to the light in the projector. In the next step, things are going to get a little bit more interesting. What we're going to do next is make the texture on the monitor animated. So it looks like there's something moving on the screen. 